Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got a wild one to say the least, okay? Put your puppers on a leash immediately, okay? Because apparently we got another studio biting the bullet right now. Oh. Yay! Another one! And no, we're not talking about Dustborn. Guys, come on, man. Dustborn still got a small community of 23 people. That's a small town, <laughs> damn it! That's a small town. And did you know that this game was funded by taxpayer money? Yay! So they're not, lo they're not losing a thing. Like this video if you think they're two genders. Dislike the video if you think they're 5,000 genders. And today, we're gonna dive into this story, okay? Shout out to the homie, Smash JT. And suckers are going crazy right now. Roll it. Imagine my shock waking up to the news that Sweet Baby Inc. has destroyed yet another yeah. video game studio. What's going on, guys? <sighs> Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. And the latest victim of Sweet Baby Inc. is Rocksteady Studios, Rip. the company behind the infamous Damn. Suicide Squad. And sure, man, that is wild, right? Because if you go back nine years, and I, and I had to bring this gameplay up. This one is from Batman Arkham Knight, ladies and gentlemen. The Circus, Rocksteady Studio, by the way, The Circus made some of the beloved games out there, some of the beloved franchises. The Circus made Batman Arkham. This game is from nine years ago, damn it. It was light years ahead. These seconds had blueprints. There was zero excuse for what these seconds did, right? These seconds were like, we gotta make the game for the modern audience, right? And yes, this is what's going on. And listen, man, like, I, right now, a lot of people are looking not like this because, you know, a lot of people knew that this was coming. A lot of people knew this was gonna happen. And because, like, these seconds are not making games for the gamers. And this is Ubisoft gone. Booby soft though, <laughs> right? This is Ubisoft Quebec, man. I want to see, I want to call this to put it down. Put it down, tabernacle, man, tabernacle. Qu'est-ce qu'il est en train de faire à Ubisoft, man? On a juste besoin de good games, man. Vous avez tourné le 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 BBC Samurai into a gay BBC Samurai, like, hey, man, listen. Y'all things are d destroying the culture of Japan. Y'all are being racist towards black people as well, man. Always making black people gay in the game. Why? Right? Like, same could happen to Ubisoft. So this should be a massive warning to Ubisoft because their Star Wars not doing good, right? Their stock is plummeting, right? A and that BBC Samurai situation not doing too hot either. Man, I'm kind of worried for Ubisoft, or I should say, like, uh, the, the, the Ubisoft out here, man. It's nothing but... Uh, there's no Yubi about this one, man. Like, damn, homie, damn. All right, let's get back to the content here, boo-boo. Right off the bat, let me just say it, because I'm sure the angry people type in the comments, well, Sweet Baby Inc. didn't destroy it. They didn't do it. This was on their own fault because the server issues and all yeah, these other yeah. problems when it launched. And yeah, I get it. There were other reasons, too. But Sweet Baby Inc. certainly wasn't helping them. <laughs> Hit that subscribe, give me a like. He looks like one of my kung fu instructor. I only had one, not one of... Uh, he looks like my kung fu instructor. The only thing is that my kung fu instructor, he never smiles. But he's making a YouTube video, I'm making a YouTube video, so we're smiling. And check out SmashJT.com for the full article discussing how Suicide Squad has killed not just the Justice League, but Rocksteady Studios. The fallout from the underperformance of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League has struck Rocksteady Studios very hard, leading to significant layoffs throughout Holy. the entire company. According to info from Eurogamer, the studio's quality assurance department had been hit particularly they had a quality assurance team? What? Say psych right now. Say psych. Hey, man, listen. Say psych right now. Hey, pump the brakes real quick. Damn, homie. What? They had a quality assurance team? Say you swear to God, man. After that, <laughs> there's no... There's zero, man. I refuse to believe this one. If these seconds had a... If these seconds had an assurance, a quality assurance team, and that's how that game turned out, bruh. <laughs> I mean, bruh. bruh. Really hard. With the team being about halved over the past month, originally Rip. consisting of 33 team members, the department now has only 15 remaining. And the disappointing sales numbers and just people online together trying to play it have been so paltry, so pathetic, that they are directly linked to this restructuring effort. And to be honest, all I gotta, hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Now, all I have to say is that at least they're not shutting down. At least they're not shutting down like that woke uh, Saints Row, right? Like the Saints Row game, right? 
those suckers went so crazy that they ultimately had to shut down their studio and personally listen man i know it's all jokes it's banter here it's for entertainment but in all reality i don't want to see anybody lose their job especially in this economy man i don't want to i don't want to see like these devs uh, these people working uh, i don't want to see them lose a job so this is not like a celebration video or anything like that uh, it, it's just that gamers deserve good games okay first of all uh, uh, you, you know what consumer deserve good product like these these suckers are always like hey gamers are toxic they, the, who does that man who calls their audience like that even okay listen man even if your audience is toxic you don't do that man like come on man a, a, first of all gamers are not toxic okay can be but they only can be toxic when you literally just call them out and, and you know dunk on them and, and you're like hey man uh, don't don't like it don't play don't buy our games and when the gamers don't buy your games you turn around and you call gamers phobic racist this and that and i mean in this shot poison ivy kind of was looking uh, looking like a snack so <laughs> we're just gonna chill for a second that's not the point here Bruh. of the video but like uh sheesh, sheesh. This game, I mean, damn, homie, nine years ago, bro. Nine years ago, these suckers pulled like a game. Uh, they made a game like that, man. They, they, yeah, you see what I'm saying, right? They, they made a game like that, bro. Like, damn, I cannot even believe it, bro. Graphics are still holding up. Graphics are still holding up. Where was I? I, I, I lost Bruh. my point. <laughs> I lost my point here. I lost my train of thought. But yes, exactly my point. Like, I don't want to see these suckers lose their job. But when you're gonna cater to not gamers but the gamers and to the modern audience then of course it's not gonna uh you know your audience your general audience it's not gonna hit your general audience like they're you're because you're not catering to them they, they they don't they don't find the game relatable they don't find your game enjoyable it's broken it's a broken mess it's a woke fest as well right Y y there is zero excuse man you guys have a blueprint like you guys know how to make good stories you guys know how to make good games and you guys still did what you did with suicide squad y you kind of shot yourself on the foot on your legs on your arms on your body your you did it yourself i still don't want to see these suckers lose their job i want these suckers to make the games for gamers but maybe this is how it works maybe this is how it works a and right now i'm kind of worried i'm extra worried for ubisoft right now man yeah normally i do look like this normally i'm shocked right but this time i'm not because of the video games quality going downhill and these suckers have the audacity to say that yeah it's uh, our assurance quality assurance team what there was zero quality assurance about this game, bro. This looking at these DLC outfits, one can't help but wonder why. The modern audience continues to impress us with their consistency of not showing up to support the games that are clearly why? being made for them. Y'all need to support the game, man. Like, listen, man, I love me a small town too. It's quiet, it's chill, you know, everything is good in the hood, but you know, I don't want to see every game having like a small town like that, man. Damn. Damn, man. What are we talking? This game need like a big city population type, okay? This uh, this game should have had a big population of like a big city, like New York, for for example, right? Maybe even like the, the Los Angeles, right? Like, or okay, you know, let's keep it a little chill. Let's keep it chill, right? Maybe Toronto even, right? Like Toronto is like three times less, uh, I believe if I'm not mistaken, or maybe half of New York, right? It deserves some population, man. Like, uh, we don't want small towns like that for every game. Because, like, these suckers are at Dustmorn, they use money from taxpayer. They use taxpayer dollars, guys. They use taxpayer dollars. They're gonna be fine. They're gonna be eating good. But you suckers didn't get the Norwegian government funding you. You know what I'm saying, right? But first of all, this is absolutely absurd, dog. Like, D Dustborn was made based off of taxpayer dollar, bruh. Absolutely absurd. We talked about it previously, but absolutely pathetic, bruh. But the layoffs haven't been limited to just QA. Employees across various departments have been impacted, including at least one staff member who was informed of their redundancy while on paternity leave, which, yikes, like... I don't know about the legal ramifications of that, if you can even do that, but I guess desperate times call for desperate measures, and the studio is being gutted right now. Multiple staff members who reportedly spoke with Eurogamer under the conditions of anonymity expressed concerns about the aftermath of these job cuts, with many of the roles lost, including several team members with specialized knowledge, the remaining employees are expected 
Specialized knowledge. Specialized knowledge. Okay. Okay. Expected to now shoulder significantly more work without knowing exactly what the other people did now that they're gone. There's also an acknowledgement from senior management that the product quality will most likely suffer as a result of these cuts, which I guess is to be expected. So the product quality is gonna suffer. It suffered heavily before. I guess now what they're saying is that it's gonna suffer even more. Okay, makes sense, makes sense, guys, makes sense. When you're gutting a company, you're gonna let go of some good talent, but they're replacing it with people. Good talent. He, he, he not wrong, he not wrong. They're replacing with like bad talent, I guess. But what he's saying is that it's a good talent that made Suicide Squad Justice League, that Justice League game, right? Good talent, okay? Okay, yeah, okay, okay. I would say that good talent made Batman Arkham and all the other games prior, right? Good talent, guys, good talent. People that don't know what the- Cutting a company, you're gonna let go of some good talent? But they're replacing it with people that don't know what the other people did and how they did it. So I'm not sure how they're supposed to be able to update Suicide Squad with any real tangible updates and DLC if they got rid of the people that know how to do that stuff. Because tranquilo, people affected papi. Papi, tranquilo. by tranquilo. the layoffs are not just junior staff. According to Eurogamer, more experienced team members who have been with Rocksteady for over five years have been let go. And oh, shit. What the hell? Bruh, say psych right now. So first of all, okay, now I see what he means though. So these seconds let go of uh, of the good staff, right? Of the good, what the hell? So you, you seconds actually fired the good staff. Not like the, 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 the uh, you know, not the devs because of whom your game is not succeeding. You fired the devs that perhaps made games or perhaps that were behind Batman Arkham Knight, right? Like all the good games prior that sold well, that people loved, that perhaps you guys like making as well. Okay, well, that makes sense. That makes sense. Rip brain cells right now, but okay, makes sense. So let go of the good staff. Let go of the good devs. Keep the the devs that made Justice League. Keep the devs that made uh, Dustborn game, right? You know what I'm saying? Just trying to give you an example. Keep the devs like, I should say, Dustborn that made Dustborn. Alike. Obviously, being at a company that is currently being gutted right now, you can't help but wonder the people that are still there, how much confidence they have in their organization to pay them moving forward. And this news comes off the heels of a very difficult time for Warner Brothers, who reported a 41% decline in gaming revenue year over year, attributing most of that drop to weak performance from Suicide Squad. It's the company over. previously disclosed losses of two hundred million hey, hey, whoa, dollars. Whoa, 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 whoa! Time out, tranquilo, tranquilo, papi, 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 chill, papi. These seconds could have paid that to their fans, man. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? You think I'm crazy? What are we, you crazy, bro? You crazy, man. <laughs> These seconds could have paid gamers to play their games, bro. Two hundred million dollars. You seconds crazy. You could have gave, given that like a hundred million to the fans. Uh, we could have split between, right? Like uh, you could have given a hundred million to the fans and hundred million to me as well. And, and I and I could have like split between like all the, the the homies that are watching this video, right? That that are gonna smash the like button. Let's narrow it down. Let's keep it exclusive out here, right? So like, if a thousand people like this video, yeah, like uh, like we can split, split, split a hundred million dollars between i believe uh, that would be how much 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 yeah exactly it would be a lot it would be a lot right like they could have done that like the video if you agree with that man damn man like 200 million dollars down the drain bruh these like is crazy similar stuff happened with concord we're hearing that approximately although we don't have the exact number dustborn these like is uh, using taxpayer dollar to make the game and they took eight years to make it first of all <laughs> Concord, what we're hearing is that it's not like an exact, but it's an appro approximate 100 million to 150 million dollars to develop the game, and roughly 4,000 people have bought their game. And, and, and some analysts are saying it could be like 12,000 to 15,000 people, which is a lie, but even at that point, we covered that in the last video, right? And we've done like we ran like calculations, this and that. 
even best case scenario, if those suckers over at PlayStation and Concord, if those suckers sold about 15,000 copies of Concord on PC and PlayStation 5, they've made about $600,000. In other words, not even a million dollars. Not even a million dollars. And they have spent... Okay, stop barking, stop barking. Uh, not even... They, like 100 million okay let's not even talk about 150 million if they took 100 million to make concord game and they're not even breaking a million dollars holy crap what about like 99 million right you feel what i'm saying it is joe over these things are not gonna learn unless they lose their job they have to shut down their studio and who's gonna suffer you people and somewhat like the fans gonna suffer too for example a lot of people like for example right like right now yes uh, the justice league uh, rockets uh, Ro rockstar the rocksteady studio has not shut down just yet but they're getting pretty close to it they're getting pretty close to it their studio have halved who's gonna suffer people that lost their job people that might still be working if they probably lost their friends that were working alongside them maybe they're not gonna see them anymore and they're probably gonna be worried about them losing their job i i, I can assure you this that people that are still left at rocksteady they're probably looking for a different job somewhere else uh, thinking that maybe you know one, uh, six months from now a year from now i can get fired too that's how they must be feeling right now so it affects the devs it affects the studio uh to a certain degree the fans as well because the fans uh, were like hey man we're fans of your studio uh we want to see you do better we want to see you drop better games uh so you know what like we have something good to look forward to and, and we're gonna pay you uh right like uh, we're ready to buy as soon as you drop have my money have my money right and, and therefore the, the dev team is gonna prosper they're gonna do well ultimately who has the last laugh sweet baby ink because sweet baby ink it's an it's an activist group that hate gamers that want to change gamers uh change gaming that want to change gaming for gamers and uh, that, with this crap with this crap right that's what they're doing it's an activist group and ultimately they get paid because yeah they they asked for their fees guys you didn't know that yeah they asked for their fees same happened with uh that the monkey game that black myth wukong so they were asking for seven million dollars to black myth wukong and they said that we need that so we can give you guidance i kid you not that's what we're hearing that they were like we're gonna give you our guidance pay us seven million dollars and ultimately they said no they 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 did they said that hey man we know our audience we're making games for the gamers and they ultimately did and we heard that it sold 10 million copies within three days <laughs> right like we, i can i can pull that up right now on the spot like that monkey game right the monkey and they got so mad uh with that monkey it still is three hundred and fifty-seven thousand users right now that is crazy man it's a single player game so make no mistake it's definitely gonna drop 24 hour peak is a, a million holy crap that's insane you know what like you can see when people are going to sleep or majority of the gamers are going to sleep you can see right it got ebbs and flows which is normal uh, i would say like these numbers are kind of abnormal because usually after this time uh, after like this long it's been like what 10 days more than 10 days a single player game goes down in numbers and this game is gonna go down in numbers which would be normal but they still sold 10 million i guess new people are still on coming on so these like said no to sweet baby ink no to their guidance so yeah this is what i'm saying they have the last laugh because ultimately they come in and they're like hey we're gonna provide you our guidance and you know what like we're gonna charge you money as well millions of dollars they ultimately get to guide these studios their game ultimately then uh, sucks they release it their fans are not happy and then they have to fire their own devs they they lose their money to sweet baby ink they lose the money that they could have made by selling their games <laughs> and then they fired their devs and in some cases they have to shut down their studio <laughs> And, the, and then sweet baby ink is getting ready to ruin another game right another franchise it is it is crazy this is different kind of stupid man this is different kind of stupid 200 bro. million dollars holy from suicide squad this is one of the biggest massive losses in gaming history i feel like i'm saying that with every video these days that's yeah. not good despite the setbacks work on the game's post-launch contact had been continuing but there's no word on what if anything comes out next from the studio and going through the reviews of Bruh. suicide squad Bruh. kill the justice league many of the people who played it said that rocksteady had 91 critic reviews 
Okay, so almost 2,000, let's just say. Yeah, I'm being generous, it's not, but like, let's just say 2,000. 3.5! And let me take a guess, right? IGN, IGN probably gave it a 7 or 8, right? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just guessing because this like, is game, Dustborn, that uh, 7. They gave Dustborn 7 and uh, Black Myth Wukong 8. Now, 8 is very good, okay? But, the, but, but 7! Dustborn don't deserve 7, Dustborn was a 2. Not even a 2, 1.5, okay? We're gonna still... I'm still being generous when I say 1.5. That was an abomination of a game, bro. Had a tremendous amount of talent, and it was evident while Breath. playing Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, but unfortunately, Giga. they couldn't overcome any of the terrible decisions they encountered throughout their playthroughs. They highlight the mismatch between the game's development team skill and the poor reception of the final product received. Which gets me into the next topic. Uh -oh. Sweet Baby Ink being involved uh. in this. And wouldn't you know it, they're the same people that seem to destroy every company they yeah. touch. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League was yet another project touched by Sweet Baby Ink through one of their infamous consultation partnerships. And like everything they get their hands on, it turned to absolute shit. Mm. If it happened one time, I get it. It's a one-off. Multiple yeah. times, okay. That's kind of just bad luck. If it happens pretty much every time or seemingly every single time that Sweet Baby Ink is involved with it, you got to take a step back from this and wonder about the bigger picture. Yeah. Why would any company in their right mind bother signing on with them? And yeah. only a couple of things. That's different kind of stupid, man. Like I was saying, so this uh, Sweet Baby Ink is charging money for their guidance for their consultancy <laughs> and these studios are like y'all come here we're gonna give you the money and then they quickly find out that their their own audience is not looking to buy their product their game with sweet baby ink consultancy and guidance they lose money fire devs sometimes shut down their studio lose money in the stock market lose money in terms of the game sales ultimately have to shut down after and they lose money because they 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 pay it sweet baby ink so they lose that money too it's a lose lose situation this is different kind of stupid bro different Things kind come to mind one the esg score needs to get raised up and you want that investment money from blackrock and vanguard and you don't really care about the sales even though you Yay. know it's gonna tank them and you hope that maybe people don't notice and you make the money on both ends but either way at least you're making money on one side of things and pretending like you actually care about everything when in reality we all know it's about the money or two, you feel threatened by Sweet Baby Inc. They scare you. They make you feel like they are- Call the cops. Call the cops. Call Bruh. the cops. They are an organized mafia that if you do not utilize them, you will therefore be canceled by the nose ring mafia. Bruh. Akin to what many are speculating tried Bruh. to happen with Black Myth Wukong when Rebecca Valentine from IGN made up this whole story with Ki Hoon Chan saying that it was a misogynistic, terrible, sexual workplace that was just yeah. horrible against women and all these terrible things when it turned out that it was seemingly purposefully mistranslated to push an agenda. And you put two and two together and you got- They, they apparently had a fake Chinese translator, right? That's what we heard. And guess what? 10 million sales! <laughs> Yo, these things are crazy. They were like, we need diversity, that they are being sexist. All of these, all of the terms that he said, they actually did say that. And, and apparently the controversy was that they brought in a fake translator, a, a fake Mandarin Chinese translator, right? That couldn't even translate well. <laughs> what are we talking about, man? I don't get it. I will never get it. I don't think I will ever get it, okay? Check out this video on the screen. Insane drama, man. These seconds are crazy right now. That that BBC Samurai situation going crazy right now. You want to know like what happened with the BBC Samurai situation? Yeah, check out this video on the screen. If you've already seen it, then check out the video on the left. Some insane Black Ops 6 story as well with the Call of Duty, bruh.